two. Hey guys, hey food lovers, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today we have Valet, a wife and mom passionate about food. She graduated with a culinary arts degree and has become an amazing advocate for food. Not only does she make tasty recipes, she photographs, styles, and promotes food. You might recognize her from a food truck called Belay Spice Walk and has also become a digital creator for the food industry. Now, if that's not passion, I don't know what is. In today's episode, Belay will be showing us how to make shrimp pad thai and crab rangoons. Tune in for a special mention on one of Belay's latest ventures and let's give her a warm welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Well, thanks for coming here, Belay. Yeah, I'm super excited. So we're probably going to start off. And we're super hungry. <laughs> So I think we're going to start off with the crab ragu. Are you okay with that? I am okay with it. Okay, I'm going to grab the ingredients. Awesome. So we've been so excited for you to come on the show and we've been saving all of our calories for this. Oh, great. That's awesome. Okay, so you can pr pretty much purchase all these ingredients in your local grocery store. Um, I go to the Asian ones, so I usually go to Lucky's or mm -hmm. Young's. You can buy yeah. any of those. But the great thing about this, you can have this during any special occasion. Okay. These are great for parties. Yes. Appetizers. Yes. Your families will love it. Anytime. Anytime. But you can find these ingredients also at Superstore. Oh, for sure. Yes. Um, okay. Not this type of one ton though. Okay. I noticed Superstore, they, their one tons are a little bigger. Yeah. So you can find this type of one ton here. I'll show you if you can see the label here. Wings brand at an Asian, definitely an Asian store. Okay. All right. So for my one ton, or sorry, for my crab and group, I use imitation crab. You can also use real crab. Okay. But during this time of season, it's a little pricey. Right, right. So the imitation crab is great. Um, I'm going to open this up and chop it up. If okay. you want, you can chop up the green onions. Okay. Because I put green onions in there. Sure. And for the filling, we're going to have the cream cheese right here and some mixed cheese. Now, I don't know, most Thai restaurants don't use the mixed cheese. I use it just to give that extra cheesy flavor mm -hmm. and the pull. And Let's do it then. It'll be delicious. All right. Am I chopping all of this? Uh, just like half? Uh, let's start with two, yeah. Let's okay. Two. I'll use this. So I'm going to open this. I'm just, have you ever tried uh, imitation crab? Oh, I love imitation crab. Yeah. I mean, I, I can tell the difference. But it's still good, right? And even when you have sushi, I feel like they, don't they use imitation crab? They do. They use yeah. the sushi. I put it in, you can put it in noodles. You can put it in your scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. You can actually make like tacos with it. Like tacos? anything. Tacos? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. I like it in soups. Yeah, no, you should definitely try making like, um, you know the taco salsa dip? No. <laughs> like the beef dip that you use for, uh, for cream cheese. Instead of using that, you can use crab. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, okay. It's really good. If you love seafood. Valet, say hi to Jane, who's tuning in. Hi, Jane. Oh, hi. Hi. Jane always tunes in every week. Oh, <laughs> She's like our biggest fan. She oh, really that is it. awesome. <laughs> She's one her, of our what, members. What, what was her favorite episode so far? Okay, Jane, what is your favorite episode so far? Let us know. I think I have a feeling what her favorite episode will be. It'll probably be... Okay, we did... Pampanga not too long ago, and I think Jane was commenting a lot on that. Oh, really? I don't know, Jane, what's your favorite? Let us know. <laughs> I love the banga. They have the best buffets. Really? Yeah. We're talking about on Henry, Henry Street, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Henry oh Street. Oh my God, yeah. I love their breakfast buffets. Oh mm -hmm. my God, so good. So what I've done is I, I sliced the imitation crab in half, and okay. then I just finely chopped it up. I'll probably chop, I'll probably mince it after, because you want to make sure it's nice and fine into the filet. We also have Vivica online. Hi, Vivica. Hello. This is great. Mark's online too. Hi, Mark. Thanks for tuning in. So why finish this up? Did you want to put the cream cheese in the mixing bowl? Okay. And also the mixed cheese. Do I put well? the whole thing? Sure. Yes. And are we mixing it with a spoon or uh, with a fork? A fork. Okay. I, I, I let it sit out so it gets softened. So I'm right. hoping it's going to be the right temperature there. Okay. So I can do this. I've never made this before. I've only eaten it from other people. My friend makes this often. Her name is Raina. So Raina, if you're tuning in, I, I always think of you every time I have crab rangoon. Am I putting all the cheese too? Yes, okay. we'll do that. We'll make it as much as cheesy Let's as possible. Let's make it rich. Yeah, <laughs> why not, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm dieting tomorrow, so I mean, I'm just going to eat what I want today. Well, with one ton, you can fill any, like, you can fill any filling up with it, right? Yeah. So you don't have to use 
crab, you can use shrimp, you can use bacon if you want. Mm -hmm. Chicken, well, uh, cook chicken. Oh, prefer, chicken too? Yeah, well, you would have to cook it first mm -hmm. because it takes, it doesn't take long to cook in the fryer, right? Right. Okay. Yes. We, we also have Amanda tuning in. Hi, Amanda. Hello. Happy Sunday. Yes, happy Sunday. Hope you guys are meal prepping too. <laughs> We have this challenge going on tomorrow, so a lot of our members are getting really excited and prepping today. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, this will be great for snacks, like nighttime snacks or lunchtime snacks. I'm going to throw the rest of this in there. Sure. So how crabby do you like it? Like, I like a lot of crab. I like a lot of crab. Okay, cool. Because if, I'm, if I know I'm eating crab, for example, I want to taste the crab. I want exactly. to see the crab, right? Yes. If all I see is, you know, cheese and green onions, and I'm thinking maybe I'm not eating enough, right? So now you can add the green onions into oh, it. Oh, okay. And then we'll probably put, uh, the only season I put in is like salt and pepper. That's it? That is it. Really? Okay. Still a little bit tough. This is okay? That is okay. Okay. I'll, I'll mix it up here. Is yeah. that salt and pepper right there? No, that's okay. our stevia. Oh. Do not put that in. <laughs> I oh got it from my. the dollar store. It is actually a salt and pepper shaker, but okay. we thought it looked cute to put our stevia in. <laughs> that's hilarious. How much salt and pepper would you need? I usually go by taste. Oh, by taste? Yeah, so I will tell you when to stop. <laughs> okay, I don't know what salt and pepper you have. So I have coarse salt and then this salt here. Whatever salt you feel like. I'm not picky, so let's try this salt in that. Okay. I'll put this here then. So I'll keep mixing if you want to put that in. Okay. Put this in? Yes, please. Okay, just tell me when to stop. Okay. I think we're good with that. Okay, one more. <laughs> one more for good yeah. luck. And then tell me about the pepper too when to stop. All right. Yes, we love a lot of pepper. Do you guys love, like, I like a lot pepper. of Yeah, a lot of. Give that little heat into it. Tell me when. <laughs> I think twisting. we're good. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna incorporate all this. Make sure it's all mixed it well together. Usually the cheese gets a little softer, but I guess it's pretty cold in here. Is yeah. that correct, Billy? <laughs> it sure is. I mean, this one's probably a little more because we actually add, we added cheese. cheese in it. Yeah. This is a guilty pleasure. <laughs> this is a this is a cheat. It's not something you yeah, want to have very this often, right? This is a right? cheat cheat. Yeah. Oh, is this, what are you making? The, the crab rangoon. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the crab rangoon. So this is not not healthy, but this is um, it's a it's a cheat for Sunday, right? Yes. It's a. It's healthy. It's healthy. There's some green onions in there. <laughs> So it's not too bad. All right. So I think we all mix it. I'm going to ask for a tea, um, teaspoon. Do you have a teaspoon? Yeah, just over there. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then you can help me with this. We'll probably start the oil on the pan right now. Right now? That going. Yeah. You know, our our stove is really fast. Okay. So I could put start it. Low. Put on low? Okay. Yeah. I'll put it at number four-ish, I guess. Okay. So, Valet, is this, is crab rangoon, is that Thai? Did it originate from Thailand? It, it, it came from Thailand, and it's actually mostly, it came from, like, the, the, the North American side of the restaurants. Okay. Because I've learned it through a Thai restaurant, which they got from their um, family relatives in the States. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's all the oil we have. Need more? No, I think that's great. That should I think be okay. That'll be good. So, we'll start wrapping these up this is you're probably gonna want a close one on here i'll show you one and then you can do the other one okay so you want to use the one ton wrapper yep use a little tablespoon okay that i'll use this use that yep and what i do is i pinch middle right there push down and then i pinch the other side in the center mm-hmm and there you have it. Okay. Um, we'll see how mine looks. So you pinch. Yes, both the sides are down. Yep. Okay. And then you fold the other. The other side, and then you pinch it. You want to do one at a time with that one. Oh. Yeah. So then, like. So correct. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And you don't use water at all? No, because the cream cheese holds it. 
Oh, that was so easy. Super easy. Super easy. And then you get that, it'll, it'll eventually look like a crab, yeah. Or a star, I call it a star or a flower. So many. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was supposed to look like a star or a crab. Okay, that was actually really easy. Super easy. So we'll do four, and then put in the fryer quickly. Okay. So, Billy, do you cook a lot of Thai food at home? I do. I actually cook a lot of diverse food. <laughs> you do, yes, actually. I've do. seen a lot of your photos. We do. My my husband loves eating different kind of food, so we do make, we do make a lot of curries and a lot of wraps and stuff like that. Lao's food, too. He loves chicken and papaya and sticker rice. Mm -hmm. That's one of his favorite dishes that you can eat every day if you could. But I find my kids are still picky. Mm -hmm. So with a crab and I would make a separate one just with the cream cheese and mixed cheese. That's pretty really? Much it. Yeah. You don't add bacon or anything then? No. No? I don't. The kids are, they just, and, and the funny thing is I'll cook that. They'll only eat the crunchy part of the wontons and that's it. <laughs> do you have sauce? Like do you bake, do you give them a sauce with it too? I do, but they don't they like, don't like it. sauce. They like everything plain. Plain Jane. You know, kids are like that. They do, yeah. Jet likes his noodles plain. He doesn't like oh. anything on it, right? Just noodles. Yeah. So. I think, yeah, you can probably bake it. I think you, you can bake it. I've actually seen people do it on Facebook. They actually use an air fryer. Um, I, I've never done that process, but I'm pretty sure you can. It's like every other thing, right? But, you know, you can put anything in the air fryer. I've seen people put French fries, and it turns out crispy, or like uh, zucchini fries. They put baked chicken. My girlfriend just puts like, what is it, a teaspoon of oil in the air fryer and mm -hmm. it just gets crispy, right? I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty. I do not own an air fryer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to one day, maybe. I try to keep it old school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I've learned, I don't know. One day. Okay, so is this good? Should we... I think this is great. Okay. So we'll, we'll bring it over. Okay. We'll just use mine if you want. Yeah. Okay, put this here. And then do you have tongs or? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. So, okay. um. Whenever you want. Okay, so okay. let's go over there. You know, I didn't put it on high. Can you? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So oh, you just is it on high? Oh, sorry. Let's just move it over here. Okay. I think that should be high enough. Okay, and then... I'll just test it. I'll see. Because you said it doesn't take long, right? It doesn't take long. It'll heat up really fast. Okay. Yeah, it's not hot. Not ready yet. We'll wait. Okay. Then, you know, I'll make a couple more. Okay, perfect. So, Vale, you were born in Thailand, right? I was. I was born in a refugee camp. I do not know the name of it, of course. Um, but yeah. It probably doesn't exist anymore, though. Because it, it, I was also born in Thailand, right? And when we went to Thailand, we, we spoke to a few locals, and he was asking me, where was I born? So I told him the name of the refugee camp, and he had no idea. Yeah. He, he looked at me like I made up this it, place, right? So then I, I Googled online, and that camp, that name doesn't exist anymore. Oh, wow. So that's why it's, they wouldn't know. It's probably the same, for sure. Yeah, probably the same, yeah. I wish I knew a little bit more. So that's why I would plan to go to Thailand to mm -hmm. do some little um, history searching, ancestor searching. <laughs> you know what? It, when, we, when we went to Thailand, we went to Phuket. Oh. And um, it was really nice. It was, uh, I felt it was very, very safe. Mm -hmm. um, it was almost westernized, okay. but still very Asian. Uh -huh. And um, like they had, the roads were all nice oh, and wow. smooth yes. no potholes we've been to bali and there's potholes everywhere really but there is um policing there like it just felt like it was there's a lot of rules uh -huh. and when i say rules you know there, the stoplights were there people were following the directions you stop when you're supposed to stop and like i just felt very safe going to thailand wow. I, I i can't wait I, I that's one of the things in my bucket list for sure and vietnam my sister-in-law lives there oh yeah yes oh it's not hot yet oh almost All right, let's go. Let's go? Okay. Yeah, the oil's hot, hot. Okay, good. So I'm going to put some of these in. Are we ready for the cool shot? Yes. So there we go. Mm. So it'll start lifting up. Okay. I usually put those just nice and brown, and that's pretty much it. Do you do you turn it over, or you just leave nope, it like this? No, I just leave it like this. Okay. Just wait until it's a little more hot. And of course, you can use a bigger saucepan, more oil. A bigger oil. saucepan, more oil, but we don't have enough oil right now, so this is this will do. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> but when they do cook, they 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 hold their uh, 
I, I call it like their crown form. Yeah. Their legs, their crab leg forms. Yeah. Right now it's, we're just going to work on them. Okay, perfect. We have Jason Bobiles watching. Hi, Jason. Thanks Hello, for tuning Jason. in. We have Terry Beckman. Hello. What else? We have Haley, Marilia. Oh, Dana responded back. Sorry, oh. late reply. I love the Topsy Log breakfast. <laughs> Topsy Log breakfast. Is that the sausage? The sausage? Topsy Log is the, uh, the... Or is that beef? The beef. Oh, okay. It, it That's sounds beef. delicious. It does sound delicious. <laughs> I always get mixed up with uh, with the Filipino breakfast names. Oh, okay. Can I make this higher? Yeah, you can just push the buttons. Let's see. It goes out of nine. Oh. oh. There, that's okay. the highest. Okay. Or you can go higher if you want. Okay. Well, just wait till that's cooked. Sure. And then we'll finish the rest because I think... We'll wait till this is perfect. Okay. And Vale, we're also making pad thai later. I'm yes, so excited shrimp for that. Yes, pad thai. You can show all the greens here. We got fried tofu, we got shrimp, we got the nice, this is the actual pad thai uh, rice noodles. And then we have the garlic chives, the bean sprouts, the cilantro, the green onions, the lime, the garlic, and our mm. peanuts that we're gonna toast. And these were all purchased from the Asian store as well? Correct. Okay, from Lucky's? Yes, Lucky's, yes. Yeah. Okay. Lucky's supermarket, for sure. So when we were in Thailand, guess what RJ and I ate every single day? Pad thai? Pad thai. <laughs> like literally, we really? ate pad thai every day. We had, we ordered two dishes and okay. we were there for three weeks. We ate pad thai and curry oh, every wow. day. Wow. Yeah. Which kind of curry? The green? The... No, not the green curry. I think it was more, the coconut curry. Okay. Is it the yellow one? Okay. I can't remember. Was it was the, the sweeter one. Like the, the potatoes one. and stuff in it? No, not no? that one. A sweeter one. Because there's, there's different kinds of curries. I yeah. know the, the potato one is the more spicy and salty one I think yep. I can't remember and there are so many different curries maybe it was the green curry I love all the curries I like all curries yeah. but I know it was not the red curry okay there we go now we're testing all right there we go so this one the oil is nice and hot and it'll start forming you can so that nice another. star shape yes and so Valet you make videos of food also I do yeah, can I make, you tell like, us what you do? I make similar like tasty videos for um, food bloggers and YouTubers and uh, the food industry. Okay. Like brands. Yeah. So those are the kind of recipes I make for them. Do a little bit of recipe developing if they need help uh, figuring out how to use their product in food and everyday recipes that people can use in their home. So those are fun. Because, you know, you make it and then you get to eat it, right? Right. And is this done in your home? Correct. Yeah, I have a And you do all the, like, the videotaping the of video it? The video and the photo shoots out there. I do, like, the, the hero shots for their blog. Or their oh, my YouTube. goodness. Wow. That's fun. So Lots what do you make? Fun. What's your favorite thing to do? I like making Asian food. Yeah. <laughs> Which, because that's the kind of food I eat. But yeah. But sometimes you don't get that. Like, I've, I've done keto for yep. my clients. There's a, a YouTuber who's, like, a really big, who does keto recipe yeah. I've done vegan recipes mm -hmm. and then just everyday mom recipes so I think this is great. everyday mom recipes like easy simple recipes oh, okay yeah. okay because we have lots of moms watching too and you know if you can get your kids to eat that's perfect well, I know I have a hard time getting my sons to eat well there's there's another thing too like um I've people have asked me to do is how to how to recreate leftover food Okay. Like making it to another dish. Yeah. Yeah. So give give us an example. So for example, if you had hamburger. Yeah. You can change that hamburger into a sloppy joe's or into a nice stir fry. Okay. Snowball, right? Interesting. Or a casserole, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I usually make it into an Asian stir fry because um, I like that. I like the little spice and spice. So this is done. We're gonna put this on a plate. Okay. So let's get a plate here. We'll just get a little plate. And a dipping sauce. Do we have like a dipping sauce plate? <laughs> Gosh. No. Okay. We'll just pour I'll it give on. You, let me see if I have a dipping sauce. I think I have a sweet chili sauce here. So I, I think. I, I have a sauce. I meant like a little bowl to put the sauce oh, in. Oh, okay. Dipping. Okay, so I'm going to put the crab ragouts. Yeah, so we had a little bit more um, oil. These will puff up really nice and tall, but we just work with what oils we have, so that's okay. So these are great for. 
appetizer. Oops, oh, I almost dropped one. Lucky. It'll still get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, and then we'll use this for our sauce. So today we're in for a treat because I also made my homemade, I made my uh, peanut sauce that okay. you'll probably see this year at any farmer's markets. I'm hoping to uh, get into there. But What's inside it? Or what are some of the ingredients? Uh, the ingredients are peanut butter mm -hmm. <laughs> and Thai chilies, garlic, onion, and hoisin. Hoisin, okay. Yes. Because um, people make peanut sauce, right? But they just use a couple ingredients like the peanut butter or almond butter, and then you can use sriracha or the hoisin sauce and water and mix it. Oh, and okay. Fun. Yeah, this one has a little bit more flavor. I can't tell you all the yeah. ingredients. No. <laughs> it's a secret sauce. It's a secret sauce. Okay, let's let's taste okay, this. Okay, try it out. Okay. Hey, so, I don't know. I like looking at the inside. That's just me. See if everything's cooked. And it is. You know I do? I always... uh. I eat it without the sauce, and then I eat it with the sauce. Mm. So then I know how it actually tastes like. It's just a weird thing I do. Mmm. Good. Oh, it's so it's, good. It's always good. It's cream cheese. Mm. <laughs> Try it out with the sauce. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you like my sauce. Okay. I love feedback. <laughs> What's he eating? <laughs> you gotta dip it all in. Oh. 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 How is it? Mmm, that's really good sauce. Yeah. I've never had that sauce with this before. Never. Mm. It's creamier. Mm -hmm. It's creamier, yeah. The other one's like sugary sweet. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. It has a, it also has a little, like lime in it. I don't think it tastes the citrus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jerome, do you want some? Yes. Make <laughs> we'll make more. Prepare. We'll make more. Have one. Have we'll one. Make some more. We'll make some more, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, it's so good. Okay. But you know what? Let's go. Um, We can do the pad thai too, but we'll make some extras for after the show. <laughs> That was tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, this is good. Mm -hmm. And so easy. I can't believe how easy it is. Super easy. But you know, the one thing I want to learn how to make, seriously, is pad thai. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, then you're in for a treat. Kay. Okay, so we'll get the pad thai going. Okay. I'm just going to clean up this area first. Sure. So it is. So with pad thai, it's... There's a lot of components involved. Yes. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of, um, in different sections. So okay. we're gonna start off by cooking the eggs first. Okay. How so many eggs? Uh, I think two would be good. We'll crack it in the bowl, cook that, put it on a side, slice it. Okay, I have some eggs here. Perfect. You need a bowl? Yes, please. All right. I use a fork. I'll, I'll crack the eggs then. There's one, just two eggs? Yeah. Okay. So we'll just whisk it up. And this is. So, Valet, who taught you how to make Thai food? I actually worked at a Thai restaurant in the city, actually. Because um, the Laos community is so small. It's so funny. The Laos community is such a. A small community and but do they all know each other they do they, yes they all know each other but then they open thai restaurants mm -hmm. i'm still trying to find a really good laos restaurant really good Laos. you know i don't know if there is one is there there was one it's... on saint matthews um saint matthews oh yes i do remember yes but yeah i don't know like saint matthews on Aaron street almost mm -hmm. okay have you been to that one no i've always drove by oh my god when i found out they had that we went there every week. Okay. Yeah, it's not I, there anymore. They're not. That's that thing. That was really disappointing. <laughs> I ran into her a few years ago. Oh, I'm like, I'm so sad to hear your, um, you closed your restaurant. But mm -hmm. she said they were into getting a food truck, but I don't know if that happened. So. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to cook the eggs first. Okay. We'll need some oil. Do you, do you like oil or butter? Or? No, let's use oil. Okay. And we'll cook that on low. Okay. Turn that on. Just press power. Um, just okay. power there yet? Oh, you have to press it really hard. And then the burner you want? Yeah. There right, we go. There we go. Very fancy. Okay. So as soon as we get the oil going, I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here. Just a little bit, right? Put it. Have a spatula? Yeah, spatula? it's just over there. Perfect. 
Oh, it's kind of messy there. <laughs> that's okay. So we're going to cook this in stages, you said. First yes, the eggs. the eggs. So we're going to probably need a plate ready for this. Okay. The egg component, and then there's the shrimp component. The shrimp. Yeah, okay. before that, we'll we'll chop up some garlic because I like having garlic. Oh, garlic? Okay, I can do that. Okay. How much garlic? Two cloves? Sure, two cloves. Yeah. Okay. The more the better. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. I like to spread this around. All right. And we're making this from scratch because I know that you can buy the pad thai sauce in the store. Yes. But this is not no, that. This no, is the real making, deal. Yeah, we're making the pad thai sauce from scratch, which is actually not that hard. It's very easy. You can always add on to the sauce, but we're going to make it. So what's inside the sauce then? What's the secret? Fish sauce, brown sugar, tamarind, and I use peanut sauce, mm -hmm. like my peanut sauce that I made. Yep. Because it has... A lot of other ingredients. Right. That, it gives it more flavor. Yeah, <laughs> it's a secret sauce. Yes. Really then. <laughs> but it's worth it. <laughs> okay, so where can we find your secret um, peanut sauce then? You said um, peanut it's, it, it's in the it's in production right now, so yep. we're I'm just trying to get the right bottle for it. And okay. Going through all the health um, regulations. And right. And then hopefully be in the farmers market by summer. And how long did it take for you to make the sauce? Oh, I had the sauce for a very long time. I had it when I had my food truck. Okay. Yeah, and people like people raved about it and mm -hmm. they wanted to buy it. At the time, I didn't sell it because yeah. I would serve it with my summer rolls and my crab and right. spring rolls. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a really good sauce. It's, uh, there's three sauces I'm going to be coming out with, so got to stay tuned for that one. <laughs> Just let us know when it's ready. So yeah, so the eggs are pretty much done. I'm going to just take them out here and put it on this plate, let it cool. So in the meantime, I'm going to We have a question up. from okay. Vivica. Would you do a food party? Oh, yes. Yes? Does that include wine? I, I'm pretty sure it includes <laughs> yeah. wine. Well, that's a non-negotiable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would love to do that. So how can people get a hold of you then? Well, they can follow me on Instagram. And what's your Instagram name? It's Valet Food Studio. Valet Food Studio. And I do share recipes on there as well. Okay. Wonderful. Oops. Wrong dish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Okay. So I'm going to wash this and then we're going to use this for the shrimp. How's the garlic one? Do you need, I just chopped up two. I can chop up more. I wasn't sure. Okay. No, I think two is two? plenty. Okay. And we got the shrimp. Can you, can you slice these? Yes. Tofu? We'll get that ready. Okay. Slice it in are, half. Those are fried tofu. They're already fried. So we're going to throw that into the pad thai after. Okay. You can show them. They're so very how do airy. I, just in two or like? Okay. Well, you can cut it in half. Oh, yep. And then pull that down and cut it that way. Okay. So in fours then. Yes. I love tofu. I still like. But I don't like cooking it though. Oh, really? No, I've cooked it before, and you have to make sure that you get all the water, mm -hmm. right? That way it's nice and firm, and then you have to use enough oil, and sometimes mine doesn't get crispy, and I like it crispy. Oh, so. okay. Like pan sear kind of? Mm -hmm. like, okay. What kind of tofu do you use? Do you use firm, soft, medium? I buy extra firm. Okay. But, but the one time I bought medium, it was a mistake because it couldn't. I couldn't get it crispy. My dad used to make a tofu stir fry, and um, I loved it. Like I love that, but it starts to break down and almost looks like hamburger meat, or whatever. Yeah. Or actually scrambled eggs, to be more precise. Yeah. It looked like scrambled, but it was delicious. Mm -hmm. I try to get my kids to eat it, and they're like, "No way, what is that? Tofu? <laughs> yeah. So good. I'm hoping they're gonna grow out of that. And there's actually lots of protein in here too. Well, half of, half of this package has 14 grams of protein. Oh. So it's more than you think. It's nice and soft though, right? Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again. I'm just gonna top up. Should I top up all of this or half? I think that's plenty. That's for plenty. Now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's let's do shrimp. one more, just okay. in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we're gonna do that, um, you can you also chop these garlic chives. So this yeah. is gonna be tossed into the noodles at the end. Okay. But this also makes a really good flavor and it's so nice it makes such a nice color into oh i love dish. this you know what my mom eats this in the stir fry yes well that's what have you had that in thailand when they yeah put, they put, this yeah, yeah yes okay so how do how do i chop it just like 
Yes, it, just like that. Okay. All of it? All of it. Okay. Once you cook it, it wilts and so it's right. like, yeah, so weird. Oh, I love the smell. It smells delicious. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then you try to cut with some quarters after. Okay. And we put that on top of your pet thai as a garnish or because I already have some in the sauce. Right. Um, but I like I like my pad thai that has that little citrus in mm -hmm. it. That tangy. Yeah. It's gonna get that already from the tamarind. Right. But it's, it's nice to top it off at the end too. Right, yes. Okay. So we're gonna I'm gonna start the pan and okay. cook the shrimp. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna be a pro at this. So you say you never made pad thai. I've never made pad thai, but I really want to learn how to make pad thai. So where do you guys order it? Like what's the best pad thai in the city, would you say? <laughs> honest, honest. Well, the best pad thai? The best, best pad thai? Go to the Thai Express. Oh! <laughs> you know what? Like, if, if that doesn't go to the outlet, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's right there. Yeah. If we if we're yeah I mean we don't eat pad thai very often but yeah. we would go to Thai Express um, really? because we always eat Thai food when we're about to go shopping. Oh, <laughs> it just comes hand in hand, right? Yeah. So it's always Thai Express, and no, then we. It's not the best. No, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's convenient but for it us. But it does the, it craves your craving, right? It hits the yeah. spot, yeah. Yes. yeah and you know exactly. our kids like it too because it's sweet, right? Yeah. So I mean I always get it non what non spicy so the kids will eat it. Oh, that is There's awesome. One Logan that I go to go to. I remember that. On Logan? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yes. in Logan. Yes. Yeah. Another St. John's. Yes. <laughs> that's a great place, too. That's a, actually, Magic Thai's sister had a restaurant in Marion, and I think it's called um, oh, Logan Jen. That's where me and my sister used to work. Which where? Wait, which place? On Marion. Logan, okay. Like you say, Ben Jen or whatever. Called. Yeah. Yeah, that's where that's where I've learned how to cook most of my food. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I'm giving credit to them. <laughs> just, I just I just build on from it. All right, so I got some more olive oil in there. I'm gonna okay. throw in the garlic. Okay, it's over here. The garlic first. Yeah. We don't have a dish, so thank you for chopping the garlic. You're welcome. Throw that in there, and then. Once that's cooking, we will throw in the shrimp. Okay, that's good enough, right? All right, so I'm gonna throw in the shrimp. Oh. And how much shrimp are we using? Well, that looks like about a pound. A pound? Yeah. A package. There's four of us, so. Yeah. <laughs> like a package for sure, yes. And oh, the, gr the great thing about this dish, even though there's a lot of components, you can always prep this a day before. Really? Put it in the fridge, yeah. get it ready. Yeah. So, when you come home from work, you just have to put it together. Got it. Yes. All right, shrimp's cooking. We're gonna put that on the side after. Okay. So you're gonna need another dish. Oh, and you can put it on that dish. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna get you to slice the eggs. Okay. Thin slice it. Thin slice it. You mean in strips? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, it's strips, sorry. There we go. Can you smell that? I can smell it. <laughs> I think garlic, I, when you cook with garlic, it just makes everything taste better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's perfect. See, that's great. That's what we're going to use at the end. At the end? Okay. Mm -hmm. Same with the shrimp. So we usually, I usually just uh, cook this until the shrimp's fully cooked, and then okay. I take it out of the pan, okay, and put it on a dish, and then we'll start making the sauce and the pad thai. Okay, perfect. I'm excited for the sauce. Yes. All right, I'm making a mess. You know what, Jerome is actually really helpful is because he? Uh, he actually would help me clean. Oh really? Yeah, he does. He would be, you know, sweeping the floor, oh. washing the dishes, and I'll say, Jerome, you don't have to, but he always does it anyways. So he's very you, helpful. You must free be food. a free for free food. <laughs> As you say, your husband, your wife must love you. She does. She's been for a long time. Oh, there it's, you go. It's 20 years, right? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So Valet and Jerome, you guys know each other actually. Yes, high school. <laughs> so you guys go yeah. way back. Yeah, way back, yeah. Go yeah. Not gonna, yeah. No? <laughs> We're good friends. Come yes, on. <laughs> that's the great thing. We're great friends. 
I love that. When but you know what? Back. Winnipeg is so small. Everyone yeah. knows each other. It is. It's a small world. Perfect. I think it's good. It's not. We'll finish it off. And so I'm going to take this off the pan, put it on this dish right here. Okay. Oh, I need that spoon. Sorry. Are we ready? Watch grab the spoon. Oh, you know who also has good pad thai is Watch Watch Street Bistro. Yeah. Oh really? I yeah, we've have... uh, we've ordered from from them quite often actually. Every time we have parties for our children and birthday parties and stuff, we always order their curry and mm. their pad thai. Really? Yeah. That's something I'm de definitely gonna put on my list then. They they have really good deluxe vermicelli. It's oh, so you, good. Oh, yeah. do you make vermicelli at home a lot? You know, I don't, I know how to make it, but I don't make it at home because it's, again, it's time consuming, right? And it if it's is. just RJ and I, I won't make it. Oh, okay. But it's not very difficult at it's all. It's not. I make it a lot because <laughs> it's easy. My husband comes home for lunch and he gets to have it. Okay. So we're going to start grabbing the sauces. Okay. So I'll make the sauce first and then I'll throw the pad thai in after. Okay. So I use some of my peanuts, the brown sugar, mm -hmm. the tamarind paste. Okay. And fish sauce. Okay. So we'll get that going. So I just turned it down. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Fish sauce. My peanut sauce right here. And what's this? And that's tamarind paste. Oh, tamarind base. Okay. It does, right? And so for the tamarind paste. Thai, but there's no fish sauce. You actually cooked it in water ahead of time, right? Yeah, this is, well, I used to, there's a block that has, right. it's, it's more piece, but they actually sell it without the seeds. Oh, okay. I just had this in my house, so. Got it. it. Yeah. So once that sauce is cooking, mm -hmm. that's when I'm going to throw in the noodles. I'm really going to use a lot of these noodles here. Look at these noodles. Yes. And these noodles, we've had it soaking for about, I guess, 15, 15 minutes? 15 minutes, yep. There we go. That in. They look so good. How does the house smell? You know, I was just gonna say it smells like it smells like fish sauce. However, <laughs> that's what pet pie is. I'm sorry. Yeah. But you'll, fish you'll sauce tastes good. Later. And then I also <laughs> add a little bit of water because I noticed the the sauce is getting a little thick from mm -hmm. the peanut butter. Okay. So we're gonna turn this up a little more. There we go. Once it starts simmering, I'll toss it with Otons. Okay. Yes. We story the other day, a fire department came to the house because my father-in-law was cooking fish <gasps> and he forgot to turn it lower. <gasps> oh no. And then the smoke alert came on. Oh. I didn't get the phone in time. Oh no. The alarm company tried to call me. They yeah. Didn't, they didn't get it. I didn't get it in time because I was trying to help him, you know, did you out. did you have like yeah. towel and yeah. try to Everything like wave? Was, yeah. yeah. So the fire department came out to the house. Yeah. And said, "What's going on? I guess okay, blah blah blah, right?" So yeah, it's just you know, it smells like fish in here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jerome? That actually happened to us too. So I mean, you're not the only one. Do you guys do a lot of fried fish? Yes. Yes. I love fried fish. I love it with papaya. Yeah. Papaya yeah. salad. Mmm. Yeah. yeah, with the papaya yeah. salad and the yes. fish sauce. Yes. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the rest of this peanut sauce too because I don't want to waste anything. Yeah, don't waste anything. <laughs> and how long is this supposed to cook for? Until it's uh, it's pretty much done now. So we're gonna add all the components. So we're okay. gonna put the shrimp in. Yep. I'll throw the rest of the shrimp, and then we're gonna add the tofu. Okay. So I hand this to you here. Yes. There we go. Now, I'm gonna turn this off. You can also make pad thai with chicken as well, yes, right? Yes, you can. You have to cook the chicken first, obviously. Right. Or you can just use the tofu alone if you want to make it vegetarian. Yes. So this is like the traditional like shrimp and tofu. Yeah. And I'll throw some of the eggs in there. And then we'll mix it. All right. There we go. So it's pretty much ready now. Just make sure everything's warm. We'll plate it. Before we do that, I'm going to throw the last bit of the garlic chives. Okay. Make it look pretty. Make it look super pretty. There we go. Looks 
so good. And you can also add spice to it as well, right? You can right? add spice. You can add the Thai chili peppers. You can peppers. add more sauce if you want. I'm just going to we'll get a plate for it. OK. I'm just going to try this one. Mm -hmm. OK. It's good? Mm -hmm. All right, four plates. Four plates? <laughs> yeah. I'll give All this right, to you. There we go. So well, how I do it is I, I plate it. Use a tongue plate the noodles, of course. So plate how you normally would plate it if it needed to be photographed. Oh, that's a good question. I, I usually do a, a, so many uh, different styles. OK. Because you photograph pretty much all of your food, right? Correct. For your blog. Yes. OK. For my blog, for my clients. I want to show a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, pet tie, you need bean sprouts. Yes, you need your bean sprouts. Bean sprouts like so. Mm -hmm. Add a little more, I think. And then I'm going to feel like I'm going to add a little more of the garlic chives to give it more of that green. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's me. It's OK. A it's lime. the sous chef. <laughs> the lime, yeah. And then peanut butter, or sorry, crushed peanuts. Yum. And there we have it. So you get to try that. OK. I'll get myself a fork. You can squeeze some lime in if you want. OK, so I'll do that. Some more sauce. You do that, and then okay. I'll finish this. Squeeze this. So excited for this. Oh. And I like to mix it up. Oh. All right. Mmm, that's really good. I can really taste the lime on it yes, too. Yes, mm -hmm. you can. So you can always add sriracha mm -hmm. or uh, some Thai chilies if you want. But yeah, that's how you make pad Thai at home. <laughs> that was actually really easy. Yeah, you just got to prep, of course, prep in advance, and mm -hmm. then everything else comes together really pretty fast. But this comes in handy because it's already fried for yes. you, so I'm going to buy this next time. That helps. Well, That's thank you so much, Valet. It was, oh, no it was a pleasure having you here. And um, I, I have some takeaways, and I'm going to make this again. OK, thank you. So thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. So good. No, I, I think we need a little more of this. <laughs>